talk about SCSI. Never know what you'll find while decluttering. Minimalist doesn't always mean no messes ever. Hi, I'm Natalie. I have ADHD. A palette of gold, 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 gold. A palette of gold, 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 gold. Well, hey friends, it's Natalie. So glad you stopped by to hang out with me today in my very messy house. It is truly the most cluttery time of the year. Every room of my house has some sort of clutter or mess going on in it. And with new year right around the corner, I would really love to get a head start on doing some decluttering and sprucing up. And I'm going to be taking you along with me as I do. So I'm sharing some tips, some encouragement, of course, some gentle motivation with you. So if you'd like to get up and join me for this, I would love that so very much. Drop this emoji in the comments and let's get started. I've been so excited to roll up my sleeves and get some decluttering done around here. I really want to kick off the new year on the right foot. And the room I'm starting in is here in our dining room. This set of cabinets is our buffet area where I keep a lot of our hostess wear, serve wear, and stuff like that. Unfortunately, this Le Creuset little uh, Dutch oven has a crack in the bottom, so I need to explore some warranty options with them. But for me, as we head forward into this video, I just wanted to share my definition of decluttering because while it does include getting rid of things and taking them completely out of my house, as I continue to simplify and minimize, it also includes repurposing, reusing, and rehoming items that maybe are just in the wrong spot in that particular room. This brown butcher paper that I had on top of my buffet could be given a second life, and so I used it as a little fun craft project for my daughter to turn into a life-size gingerbread. It did end up getting recycled eventually, but it was a fun little project for her to work on while I continued my decluttering. During my hosting this Thanksgiving, I realized that these gray linen napkins are just not a good fit for my specific style. I much prefer the crispness of the white ones that I already have, and so I'm going to be donating these gray ones that just look a little bit dingy for my taste. It feels so good to get this buffet back to where it needs to be and wiped down. I am a firm believer in starting with a small win, especially when you're feeling overwhelmed. Like I said earlier, every room of my house has clutter in it that I need to take care of. And I have found that usually the most recently made mess is the easiest to quickly take care of. It's fresh in my mind. Typically those things have quick to access homes. Um, and so getting this cleared off was a very quick process and I have got the ball rolling now and I'm able to just keep that mojo going. I'm gonna move into the dining room specifically. Oh my goodness, the fresh florals that I have on my dining room table are looking so sad right now. For me, sometimes decluttering is taking care of a lot of garbage. Like these florals that I had on our Thanksgiving table, they were completely spent and it really simplified the area to get it all taken care of. And I have shared in the past that I am my most productive with decluttering when I just focus on decluttering. And I stand by that. I'm not going to be doing a ton of organizing or deep cleaning, but I am adding one thing to each spot that I declutter, and that's a quick wipe down. I feel like decluttering and wiping things down is a beautiful way to not only simplify, but also leave the room feeling better than you found it. I'm also doing a little decluttering of my hanging plants, uh, dead leaves. I think this is a classic case of overwatering, underwatering, but I just needed to snip some of those off, clear off the top of our homeschool drawers and spruce the place up a little bit. Over here on the windowsill in the schoolroom, I had these pumpkins that we had on our table. I actually grew these, these are midnight pumpkins. And they didn't grow much bigger than this, but they're the perfect size to chop up and give to our chickens. Waste not, want not, girls. 
the decluttering work that we did in the buffet, dining room, school room feels so good to get done. And I'm gonna continue this energy into today. Um, and today I think I'm just going to focus on the kitchen. One of the ways that I try to help myself not feel overwhelmed when I'm in a situation where it's like every room of my house needs a bit of decluttering is to not try to overload my own brain by determining to do multiple rooms or multiple areas in one day. And it actually ends up working in my favor sometimes where I just keep that ball rolling like I did yesterday where that easy win of doing the um, buffet uh, inspired me to just to keep going into the dining room and the school room and that naturally just sort of happened But I did not plan yesterday to do more than just the buffet top and that helped me actually Just get started and get going that might be an ADHD hack <laughs> If you're new here. Hi, I'm Natalie. I have ADHD and the hardest thing to get is Going for me sometimes and I know I'm not alone in that So if you haven't gotten up yet to do some decluttering with me, that's okay. Uh, but it might be because you feel like you have to get all this done. When you watch a video like this one where it's a whole house declutter with me, I encourage you to keep some perspective that it will take me days to film this video. And you know, if I wanted to and if my kids would cooperate with me going through my entire house in just one day, I could probably make it happen. But that's not realistic for me and a lot of us. So rather than trying to force myself to tackle more than what my brain and my emotions can handle, I tell myself, hey, one thing at a time, progress over perfection. That has been my mantra for 2023. And I would be remiss if I didn't state it in the last video to go up on my channel in 2023. The progress of making your way through and getting things done little by little has such a huge impact on our mental health and on our homes in the long run, whether we have large homes, small studio apartments, we live with other people, we live alone, whatever your situation is, set the overwhelm aside and know that we don't have to do things perfectly to see progress in our life and in our home. So with that said, let's get started on the only room that I plan to do today. And I'm not even gonna do every nook and cranny of this room. I'm gonna hit the hot spots of my kitchen. So let's start with this utensil flatware drawer. It's right here at the top, right in front of me. I'm gonna start here. And while we do this, um, let's have a conversation about uh, a category that I'm still decluttering even after four years of minimalism. I started my Messy to Minimal series in January of 2020. So it's been nearly four years of really intentionally working systematically through my house to reduce the number of stuff that we have. And it has seriously changed my life. If you want to go back and watch this journey, I have a whole playlist that I will link in the description box for you guys. And from the very beginning, one of the first things I ever said as I stepped onto this journey is I want everything in my home to be functional and to be actually used by us. And I'm happy to say that we have really stuck with that mindset shift and it has served us very well. And so now, four years later, one of the things that we are finding ourselves currently decluttering out of our home are the pieces that are really bad quality or have had a long life in the 12, nearly 12 years that Weston and I have been married and it's time for them to be passed on and upgraded for something newer and better and more functional for us. I'm really into intentional and conscious consumption. And so if there is something that we need, it often takes me months or even years to find that perfect thing that I feel really good spending my money on, spending my storage space on, and using for my family. If you've been following me for a while, you know I have been on a literal years long quest to find the perfect black flatware set. And I have been through several different sets, several different brands, uh, and I have finally landed on the Fable brand for this black flatware. It ticks all of the boxes. It's never chipped or scratched or warped. It's sleek without being flimsy. 
heavy duty and strong and has a good weight to it without being bulky. It stands up to daily use, to dishwashing, and this set has far exceeded the performance of any other flatware set that we've had. So I can go in to our flatware drawer and pick out the pieces from previous sets that are not a good fit for us, that can be donated or passed on, and I can know that every piece in this flatware drawer is something that is actually used by our family and I can continue along the intention that I set four years ago to really focus on quality over quantity and not just holding on to things because I spent money on them. Okay, speaking of upgrades, something that I've been meaning to add to our collection is some really good quality uh, chopsticks. We eat often with chopsticks, but the wood or bamboo ones that we have had have pretty much all broken. Fiberglass chopsticks, 15,000 reviews, five stars. I think I might just go with these and keep it simple. Add to cart, okay. <laughs> Did you think you would hear add to cart in a decluttering video? Sometimes you need something and it's okay to buy the things that you need. Yeah, I've never been and will never be the minimalist who hides the things I purchase or tries to make you guys think that I never buy anything. It is not a moral dilemma for us to see a need and then fill a need. For me, minimalism is not a religion. It's a tool in my tool belt to help me take care of my home and my family and my mental health. On to the kids drawer. This kid's drawer is reminding me of an upgrade that we have made recently. Over the last several years, we have been eliminating plastic wear from our collection for our family's health. And while we still have a few plastic pieces, like these plastic kid's tumblers, which we are looking to upgrade, so if you have a good recommendation, please let me know in the comments. Um, our kids had some plastic plates that we had had for years and years, and they were seriously starting to flake and peel, and I wasn't comfortable with that. So we actually ended up shifting our Corel plates, which is a really great brand, and um, they have been so durable. I got them for my bridal shower 12 years ago, and I was ready to upgrade to something a bit nicer for our family dinners and for our daily use. Something that I have learned on our simple living or minimalism journey is that we shouldn't save the nice stuff or the good china for fancy occasions. And I actually didn't even have good china <laughs> to bring out. So upgrading to something a little bit nicer, we went with the Fable brand for our dinnerware as well. It's been such a blessing for our family and then also having this Corel wear uh, for our kids use when they make themselves meals or you know to throw a sandwich on or whatever has been such a better option for us versus the plastic stuff that we had before. So sometimes when you make upgrades, uh, you also use those items. You don't necessarily just get rid of them completely. You use those items for uh, a different purpose, kind of like the spa towels that we got several years ago. We upgraded from the towels that I got for my bridal shower, which were full of holes and were threadbare in a lot of areas. Those are now our puke towels. So thus is the life cycle of an item in our home. It's what you do with what you got. Okay, kids drawer is looking a lot better. I was able to declutter this bin out. I'm not a big boxes and bins person. Look at how scuzzy this thing is. Oh my gosh. I usually hold on to something like this though um, to see if I actually end up using it in another part of the house as I go about doing my decluttering. Um, so this isn't quite going into the donation bin yet. And if and when it does, I'll definitely clean it up beforehand. But I'm going to work on our knives drawer now because Talk about scuzzy. I love our cutting board knife drawer, but with it being right under where we cut things and do food prep, so much crumbs, so much grime gets into this drawer. So in addition to doing some decluttering and finding things like immediately, I can take this out of here. This was a little guard for a microplane that I had that the microplane broke, but I kept the guard for it. So I can take that out. I do not need a thumbtack in this drawer. That can go over to the drawer uh, for the school supplies that we have. And this knife came in a set that Weston got for his turkey spatchcocking prep that he does and it is a 
piece of crap. He was actually laughing using this knife because it is so, so bad. So I'm gonna wrap that up. I'm not even gonna donate it. Man, there's so much random garbage in this drawer. <laughs> Goodbye. This knife drawer is definitely a hot spot and a clutter catcher in our kitchen, so I like to declutter it regularly, as well as my, I call it my tea drawer, but it's also kind of turned into a supplement spot. I have some morning vitamins and little packs of stuff that I mix into my drinks, into my green juice that I have each morning. And to kind of go along with that, this cabinet above the espresso machine, it's kind of in that same little corner as the tea drawer really needed some attention. There were some random supplements that actually don't even belong over here that I had brought out when our family went through kind of like a little flu bug cold thing that just needs to kind of be put back into the medicine cabinet in our bathroom. Part of my decluttering today in the kitchen, I'm almost done, just about to wrap it up, but I do have something down here in my bakeware drawer, which actually doesn't belong to me. Some of the decluttering I do around here is our stuff. Some of it is stuff that belongs to other people that while I'm decluttering, I might as well just grab it really quick. And it's perfect timing because I'm actually bringing my sister a meal. Their family is under the weather. So along with the food I'm bringing them, I'm also bringing back their Pyrex that they left, they brought some food to share on Thanksgiving and look what else I'm bringing them. Okay, so I ordered a size five for my boys and much to my surprise, I accidentally ordered size five toddler. What? <laughs> I ordered these thinking I was ordering your size five, but it's a toddler size five. I don't think that would even fit your big toe. These are brand new, but I bought them off a reseller site like Mercari or Poshmark or something like that. So I can't return them, which is okay. Um, and I asked my sister who has twin one-year-old boys if this was possibly her boy's foot size. And apparently it is. So that's pretty cool. I'm happy to pass these on to my sister. Happy to give her back her Pyrex. I'm gonna bring her that meal. And I think that just about does it for are decluttering today, but I will pick you guys back up for when I start my decluttering tomorrow. Welcome to the next day and welcome to my laundry room. I was actually having a really rough day on this day, so I did not feel like talking to the camera, but on my hard days, I have discovered that choosing to do a couple of really small, very simple and quick decluttering tasks helps boost my mood so very much. So the top of my washer and dryer was a problem zone. I had a bit of detergent that had spilled and that I needed to clean up, a couple of drawers from our fridge in here that I needed to put back in after we hosted on Thanksgiving. I just needed to straighten up, do some decluttering and get this spot reset. And then it was onto our kids' bathroom slash guest bathroom. I never go into this top drawer here in the vanity. And it is now on my weekly or bi-weekly to-do list to just check things in here because it was such a stinking, gross mess. I had to take so many random things and pieces of garbage out of this drawer, do some decluttering. I took a little bit of extra time to wipe everything down because it was scuzzy. And while I was at it, I might as well swap out the kids' toothbrushes for brand new ones and make this little spot feel so much better. And while I had the ball rolling, I was really bothered by our linen closet. I wanted to get some towels and sheets and linens decluttered out of there that we're simply not using that are a bit extra. I'll take the kids' flannel Christmas sheets that we have for them out and give them a quick wash before we put them onto the kids' beds for the Christmas season. And the bottom drawer of this antique little unit that we have in our hall for linen storage was just a mishmash of a bunch of different things. I had a couple of cleaning cloths in there, some vacuum uh, filters and supplies, a random pair of swimming goggles because the kids have actually been throwing some of their swimming stuff into this drawer. And so I decided to actually give it a very specific purpose and to make it the swim drawer. 
So the three towels that our kids use specifically for their swimming, the bags that they pack, snorkels, goggles, even swim trunks and swimsuits are gonna live in this drawer so that everything they need is in one spot. It's easy to access and they were already starting to put stuff in that drawer for swimming anyway. So we'll see if this works. I'm just testing it out for now. And I just want to encourage you that if you're right now having kind of a bad day, consider decluttering a tiny spot in your house. You don't have to get a lot done to feel accomplished. Remember, progress over perfection. And even though I worked on some very small spots today, the progress definitely boosted my mood. All right, new day, feeling a bit better. It feels really good to get some of those little random spots checked off of the list. And now today I'm going to be working in bedrooms. I don't actually show my kids rooms, um, but earlier today I asked if they would go in and find anything that they thought they could declutter out of their toys. Uh, they totally expect this this time of the year. This is a lifestyle for us and this has been a journey that we've all grown on as we've continued to simplify. My kids play better, they sleep better, they get along better in rooms that are under control and more on the minimal side. Do not get me wrong, their rooms are a crazy mess most days out of the week. Minimalist doesn't always mean no messes ever. It just means that the messes are actually really easy to clean up um, and my kids can often just take care of it themselves, even my littlest, um, but it has taken us a while to get to that point. So if you're drowning in toys, I have so, so been there. I asked their permission today if I could just pop in there. Uh, they're actually at swim lessons right now and uh, the swim drawer situation actually worked out really well this morning, so I'm very happy about that. While they're there, uh, they know that I'm just gonna go through clothing, toys really quickly, pull out things that I think just don't fit into their collection anymore, they don't play with, make room for a couple of new things that they know they might be getting for Christmas time. And I will show you in the end what it is that I take out of there. So let me go do that really quick and then I will meet you back here for the box. Okay, here is what I found. In this box are things that are good enough to donate. It's not like totally broken and actually a couple of these things the kids picked out themselves. Haley loves uh, calico critters and we actually bought a set of furniture from Amazon that was like off brand and they came with these little dolls and as cute as they are, Haley just never plays with them. She prefers the calico critters. So we'll donate those. It's a Minecraft costume that blows up like it's battery operated but the fan died in it. So sometimes I have to think a little bit like, is this good enough to donate? And could someone actually like feasibly use this if it doesn't actually work? So I'm thinking about that one a little bit more. I found some pieces of clothing, some random leotards and uh, swim stuff that Haley has outgrown. She's growing like a weed right now. Um, so that stuff can go uh, her Carhartt coat, this little itty bitty one. This is too small for her now, um, but it still has plenty of life left in it. So I'm actually gonna offer this to my nieces or nephews if they would like this. And actually in the boys room, I grabbed their Carhartt coat that would actually now fit Haley. This one is too small for the boys and Haley, the really the only hand-me-downs that Haley gets from the boys are coats and sometimes boots if they're not too stinky. So this is actually gonna go into Haley's room now. Also from the boys' room, they actually do a pretty good job on their own of pulling stuff out that they need to donate. So I didn't find much, but this bin of Lincoln Logs actually belongs to Weston's mom. This was his set of Lincoln Logs. Um, and she gave it to us to borrow, to play with, and I don't think our kids play with it anymore. So if she wants it back, I will give it back to her. Or if she wants me to hold on to it, then maybe I'll just put the top on this tote and stow it away. Uh, Cause sometimes we do rotate certain toys in and if the kids ask about it again at some point, it might be fun to bring it down, but I don't know. I'll have a chat with them about this and, and we shall see. Those flannel Christmas sheets for the kids are in the dryer. I had to rewash them again because I forgot about them. I left them in the washing machine. I do that, I swear, every other load of laundry that I do. One of my New Year's resolutions is to be better about laundry in this house. So I think that's actually maybe the next video going up on my channel, like the first one of 2024 is going to be like New Year's goals and just sharing with you some raw thoughts and struggles and how I'm looking to you know do a little bit better 
in a gentle way in the new year. So stay tuned for that. Those sheets are gonna go on their beds. I told the kids after we do some decluttering and tidying up in their rooms today, we'd also set up their little Christmas trees that they have for their rooms. So I'm excited once I put the camera down today, we're gonna to work on that when they get home from swim lessons. But between now and when they get home, I would like to finish my bedroom. I've got some stuff in my office I want to declutter, maybe a couple things in my bathroom. But since we're here right now and I haven't worked on anything in the living room yet, I thought we would just quickly grab a couple of things to declutter clutter out of here. Starting with this give thanks banner. And as I'm looking at it here, I was gonna take it off and put it into the decor tote for next year. I'm thinking I could actually, oh my gosh, look at how dusty the underside of that is. Oh, I need to take care of that. I'm thinking I can actually just kind of tuck it on the inside. Does it mess with the strings? It doesn't. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. It has been such a pain the last few years to hang that little give thanks banner on the front of this um, piano and I can just tuck it in and then bring it back out next Thanksgiving. Okay, that's not technically decluttering, but y'all know I don't follow other people's rules. So there we go. Our living room is probably the spot that I declutter the most weekly or even daily sometimes. It's the first spot that you see when you walk through the front door. We have people over multiple times a week, every single week. This room actually stays quite tidy and quite clutter free um, just because I'm always always working to maintain it. But I did find a sock that doesn't belong to us. Pretty sure this is our friends because my kids only have all black socks. So that's going in this little bin that I have here for stuff that needs to go back to friends. And then the same sister who left that Pyrex that I showed you earlier in this video, I also found her spoon. And then apparently this is her baking pan too. With five kids to pack up and bring out the door, it is not surprising that stuff accidentally gets left behind, which is no big deal. We live close. And then I think my other sister left a diaper, uh, but I'm just gonna pop it into my little stash of diapers that I have in my bedroom. So let's head into there. Okay, here in our bedroom, uh, the only other piece of furniture that we have in here other than our bed set up is this side chair set up. Um, Weston and I really like to keep our bedroom as minimal as we can get away with. Kind of like how my kids sleep better, play better, get along better in <laughs> minimal bedrooms. Weston and I are the exact same way. But this chair here, I set up specifically for nursing mamas or mamas in general who just kind of want to take a little break from the noise of get togethers and stuff in the rest of the house um, and just cuddle babies or take a breath. I usually stock this little basket under here with diapers, which is where I will put this diaper that I found. There are a couple of random things under here that don't belong. Oh my gosh, I've been looking for this shoe. Yay! You never know what you'll find while decluttering. Um, here's a random workout weightlifting glove and a nail knocker. Inevitably, the chair becomes the dumping ground and that's okay. We just gotta regularly declutter and maintain it. I bought a new coat for my husband. And I actually need to just go hang that up in his closet rather than keep it on the chair. And since we're in the chair corner here, don't pay attention to what's happening behind the curtain. <laughs> it's my very messy office. It needs a lot of help in here, but today something I can declutter out is a snow gear. Woo! Some friends of ours, their older boys outgrew some pieces and so I'm actually going to fit in these before my boys do. So that's going into my drawer because I've actually needed some snow gear. That will fit my boys. Oh, too small. And that'll fit the boys. Swim trunks, okay, yeah. I'm glad I brought this down because this is a hot mess. Yay, so I took what was in this snow gear tote and basically cut it in half. And I have a good pile here that I can pass on to friends or my nieces and nephews. That's pretty cool. And now that I've done a bit of decluttering here in my bedroom with this chair corner and then also picked something out of that crazy office <laughs> to declutter with the snow gear, I'm ready for the final destination, which is my bathroom. Okay, I can take this out of here. I have two of the same bottles. Simplify. Done with this, done with this. I recently upgraded my hairdryer to the Shark 
flex style um, and then it has all these different attachments and so it's like an all-in-one i love it so much i've been using it for months now and then my sister anna uh, got on our family chat she's like does anyone have an old hair dryer they're not using mine died well Ask and you shall receive, sister dear. Looking good under there, uh, but I am someone who keeps the boxes for new things for way longer than I need to. I'm always scared I will like suddenly not like a new thing anymore and need the box to return it. And I think I can safely say after like six months of using this shark, uh, hair dryer that I'm not going to be returning it anytime soon. I've already filled out all of the warranty and everything. I don't need this anymore. So this can get decluttered out. In fact, I think maybe I'll just put this old hair dryer into this box so that I can put it into something to pass it on to my sister. There we go. Feels so good to go into each room of my house, even if it's just to get a little space decluttered. My kids actually call the decluttering that I do, um, or like if I, on those more rare occasions, go in and clean their room for them, they call it mommy magic. I did not come up with that. That was all them. And I think it is the most adorable thing ever. And mommy isn't the only one who declutters, but I do the majority of it. Um, but it's nice to look around my house and see the effects of what just a couple of minutes or a little bit of extra effort can do to just straighten things up and get things under control. Help us enjoy Christmas time, um, which of course is going to bring a few or several new things into our home. It happens. It's just the reality of it. Kids grow. Things break. Flowers die. We consume things. Things wear out. People leave things. Seasons change. Our family changes. So there will always be kind of a cycle of things coming in and things going out. But it's done very intentionally around here. And we try to be as conscious as we can with the consumption as well as the, the taking out of stuff in our house. And there is more to learn and other ways to improve. But I really feel like we've just kind of hit a good groove in our family and learning to live with less but also being okay with times of more and you know more cluttery times of life or t seasons of the year, kind of like the Christmas time and New Year time is. These are some of the biggest lessons that I've learned over the past few years, and uh, I'm I'm excited to see what I learn in 2024, and I'm really excited to kick off the new year with you all. Thank you so much for a wonderful year here on YouTube, 2024 January marks 10 years, a decade, of me making videos on YouTube. If you've been here from the very beginning, or if you're just joining, I just want you to know that you are loved, you are welcome here wherever you are, whoever you are. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this year as I went about, we did so much decluttering, some remodeling around this place, lots of gardening, some grieving. It has been a big year a really, really big year for our family. God has been with our family every step of the way. You guys have been with us through the steps that we've chosen to share, and I'm so grateful for all of the love and the support and for each and every one of you. So thanks for spending a little part of your day, little part of your year here with me on my channel. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I'll catch you later in 2024.